Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hanging Out with Howie on Monday nights. And I have my illustrious cast of characters with me again here. And to my right, I have the my road dog and good friend, Mr. John Cawley. I know from, from Hot Toon Productions. And when I first heard that, the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, that's the offshoot band from Jefferson Airplane, Hot Tuna. Hot hot tuna. tuna. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Hot <laughs> Tunes, not Hot I, Tuna. <laughs> I call them Yorma Kakoni sometimes. It happens. It happens. And then uh, to my right again, obviously, like-minded thinker and just all around great, great roommate and travel <laughs> companion, Mr. Brian S. Red, hi, the hi. king of concept ideas. Oh, my gosh. And next we have from Swingin' Temecula, California. Free Africa. Pastor Jay Brannon, who yes. is really killing it these days. That I, hair, that hair that rumors, hair. rumors abound that he's even buying his own plane. He's going to yep. be like Trump now. Yep. Driving a 25-year-old car, but flying a 50 year old plane and last but not least from maryland and carlisle entertainment mr bill marsh another oh, road dog you see him at all the the uh conferences so guys tonight the topic is what is an app that you can you can't do without and uh we're going to make it a little bit tougher and not use things like Serato, uh, virtual DJ, record box, or tractor. Anything other than that. So, hey, I'm it's a little selfish on my part because I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for some cool ideas. And I think with the crew that we have here, I think we're going to get it. So... John, what would be an app that you can't live without? I would have to say, uh, for me, uh, there's a few apps I use regularly, but I spend most of the time would be on Twitch. Uh, it started mm -hmm. out as a gamer platform. There is an app for it. Uh, mm -hmm. It enables you, you know, to tune into 3,000 DJs anywhere around the world, any given moment of the day. Mm -hmm. Hear their programming styles, their mixing styles, get some ideas on music. Uh, mm -hmm. the best radio station you can have in your pocket and it's absolutely free. So highly recommend. Well, I, I like the free part. I like that a lot. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to come in. They say, like, Oh, I, I don't feel like having a subscription or this and that, but it, it doesn't work like that. You can just yeah, tune in and yeah. watch. There's no obligation. Just yeah, no obligation. Up with email. yeah. Yeah. I've, I've watched um, both you and uh, Jay on that. So, um, Brian, what, what what's an app that you use that you can't do without? Uh, I don't know if this is allowed. I mean, and are we talking about as a DJ or just as a human being? Well, um, it's a DJ show, but as a human being, go for it. Yeah. Well, okay. As, as a DJ, the app that I use actually is the Algorithm DJ app that allows mm -hmm. you to play music. And I use it for ceremonies and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh can't live without it uh that that's a stretch but i use it mm -hmm. um the other i don't i'm looking at my phone like apps do i use apps but i guess i do uh but that's yeah as a dj i guess that would be the one i mean hey, there are a couple i have Daddy, i'm on air right now we're taping a show hey Sorry about that i just have you heard from jimmy the palma um, I have. It's Big Daddy. Say hello hey, to your, the audience. Hi, Sean. Big Daddy. Hi, Everybody Jimmy. says hello. Jimmy's fine. Yeah. Hey, let me call you back after the recordings. Tell over. him How's Jimmy's that? fine. Tell him Jimmy's I fine. I love everybody. All righty. And Jimmy is doing fine. I talked to him today. Okay, just make it sure. All righty. Love you, Thanks. brother. Bye. Well, that was very nice. Big Daddy calling in. You can ask. Well, yeah. I didn't know this was a call in show like those <laughs> AM radio stations. Go number one. You're on the air. <laughs> All right. right. Mike from Maine. Go ahead. <laughs> I wonder if Jay knows how loud that is when he does that. Hey, he he radio DJ voice. He's got to know. He's so you were, you, were, you were saying, Brian, about, and now that app works with um, 
a, an Android and it also works on iPads too, doesn't it? I guess it works on. Yeah, it should. Yeah, I use it on Android. I use it on my phone. I use it on tablets. Um, and and I do all my wedding ceremonies with it. But mm-hmm. you no, know, I mean for personal use, I'm rocking Sirius XM in the shop. Oh uh, yeah, I, yeah. I gotta have that. I gotta have my yacht rock, or I'll throw a wrench through the windshield when I get upset. <laughs> you can't you can't get angry work on a car when you're listening to ambrosia it's just impossible so that keeps me chill it keeps mom out there hanging with me too and then uh actually just shortly before i came on the air i was taking a bath and when i do that i actually run my my cable app on my tablet and i watch like shows and stuff while i'm soaking in the tub so those are the apps i use i mean you know, could I live without them? Again, that's a stretch. But, you know, as a DJ, it's it's DJ well, algorithm, you know, that's just a turn of a phrase. I mean, it, you don't necessarily have to, you know, for everybody else. It's not like that. You can't live. With it. it's, it's something you use. Um, wasn't wasn't born with a chip in my head. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. the young guy here. And, and I, I probably <laughs> don't wow. do all the tech <laughs> wow. that a lot of you do. You know, where did that come from? <laughs> wow. Jeez. <laughs> passive aggressive that's sorry no i'm just aggressive. saying i I'm, I'm impressed that that you guys use this tech you know yeah, whipper snapper <laughs> you know Jeez. well the, there are 10 shopping days left just for the yeah aarp offers a lot of great discounts on apps brian i don't know if you're aware of that probably not as the young guy not yet no. Not yet. I'm not there yet, like some of you. Yeah, I'm no. sure I will be someday. I often mm-hmm. threaten to move into a 55 and older housing development so my kids can't come visit me. Yeah, <laughs> all right. They can't live with you. They can visit. Right. They can live with you. Oh, they can visit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They can visit. They just can't live there. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. all right. That's, that's, that's silver lining. Well, yeah. They, there you go. Speaking all right, of silver, Bill, what, what's uh, what, what do you got, Bill? Um, I'm gonna go old school. On, on young folks and, and uh, go with PayPal. And I know that some people balk at PayPal. Some people will say it's square. Some people will say, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. They'll have their thing. And it can be their thing. It could be square. It could be somebody else. But for me, PayPal has, has worked well. Um, mm-hmm. And I figured out a wonderful little trick to recovering some of my PayPal fees as well. Um, I don't charge my client for using a credit card, but I have a PayPal business debit card that gives me 1% back on all of my credit transactions. Okay. So in most years, I bring in more payments by check than by credit card. Um, Mm -hmm. I've only had two years where it was the opposite. And my PayPal debit card can still pull money through PayPal out of my bank account. So in most years, I make more on my PayPal 1% back than I pay out in my 3% average fee. Right. So you're using it as a credit card as well as receiving money. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. I've and it's not much. credit credit. I mean, it's, it's a debit it's card, debit. but when you do the yeah. transaction as a credit, you get money right. back. Um, so that's been a good trick and it's worked for me for, I don't know, 10, 11 years now. Wow. That's good. That's good. My trick with PayPal is if it's a final payment, it's got to be 31 days out because if it's within 30 days, they can dispute it and say, you didn't play my song Mm -hmm. and PayPal is highly automated. You won't get a human to talk to. And typically what they do is they split it right down the middle and you lose half of your money. Yeah. I mean, again, that's, I I know that's an issue. A lot of people talk about it hasn't occurred for me. Uh, I haven't had anybody even try to do a charge back on me. Um, Mm -hmm. But you know, everybody's, going to have different experiences and and i've realized that so that's why i'm not sitting here saying it's the end all be all yeah um, no but, but if you do it 31 days out yeah they can't they, do it they can't they can't do anything yep and, and know, another final yeah another nice benefit with them i've had um scam charges on my account mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. the most recent happened while i was in the middle of djing a wedding 
and I allegedly purchased uh, $500 worth of Adobe software. <laughs> and I, you know, as soon as I was done packing up from the wedding, I called PayPal. It was the middle of the night and got a live person. The live person helped me through the process. And, cool. you know, I had a new card six days later and I never lost a penny. That's awesome. So, yeah. All right. We, we have saved the best for last. Mr. Or should I say Pastor Jay Brannon with well, his own airplane from Captain. Texas. But Captain. John hasn't gone. Captain. Yeah. Air Marshal Jay Brannon. Well, um, <laughs> the first one, I'm surprised. I'm actually amazed. Nobody brought this up. The number one app that I utilize. Yes, I am. Yeah. Right there. I was saving it for you, bud. Thank you. I have 2,189 Shazams in my music files. So I that's how many that times I go out and mm-hmm. snap it. And one mm-hmm. secret, if you have Shazam, you tap it and it looks up a song. But if you hold it, it goes it into what's called auto history. mode. You just yeah. put it in your pocket. You go to a club. You go to an event. Then the next day, you take your phone out and you start going through the tracks and listening and going, oh, I love that song. What is it? And you can go buy it. So that's mm-hmm. for personal. That's the number one. Um, I have a similar story to Bill. Over the last probably three years, I watched 95% of my clients pay check. And in the last couple of years, it's all gone to Venmo. I give everyone the option of PayPal, Venmo, Apple Cash, because I had one client that wanted to pay me the whole thing on Apple Cash. So I had Mm -hmm. to get that. Somebody else wanted to use the Cash app, so I had to get that. But now we face a new challenge with Venmo. I think PayPal too, or PayPal may already do this. Anything over 600, they're sending you out a form. So I've decided to split, to go from two payments, one in the front, one at the end, to three, and split the last two up to under 600 to try to get around the fee. Will it work? It should, Uh but will my clients be cool with like, hey, instead of giving me 1,000 now, I'd like, you know, 500 now and 500 in a week or 500 on two payments. Cause I mm-hmm. think they're going for the actual payment of 600 as the cutoff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Or I'm just going to have to get a business account, but yeah, Venmo has been integral. I agree with Brian. I use, um, since I decided to sign up with Sirius, I use it every day. And like John said, I think for free mm-hmm. apps, if you want to hear a diversity of music, I think Twitch is probably amongst the best. That 24-hour yeah. raid you guys did way back where I was on it, you were on it, Alex was on it, John Jazz, everyone. I had it on my phone in the car, just Bluetoothed into the stereo. So driving around, listening to Twitch. It was mm. a great experience. You know, so I think there's, and there's so many apps out there now that we could incorporate. I'm actually looking for a scheduling app. I'm looking for kind of a, a portal that I can have all my business go through. So if somebody pays me on a date, It gets stored on this app as well as, because otherwise you have to go back to PayPal or Venmo, scroll Mm -hmm. down, see when you got paid last. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm interested to see when this airs, what the comments are as far as apps that people are using that they're finding Mm -hmm. helpful maybe with their business. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Well, I think the number one app that I, I always use, um, and I ha- I'm proud to say that the I am not one of the people on the different forums and the different groups that says, my Wi-Fi isn't working. I've never, ever had trouble. And I'm going to screen share. And here we go. This is... This is a Wi-Fi scanning app, and this is this is a picture of my phone. And can you guys see my cursor? Mm-hmm. Is that showing up? Okay. Over here in the dark orange is my six antenna whole house um, uh, router. Okay. And this is a neighbor, I guess. Um, and then... Over to the right here, down at the bottom, another neighbor. And where it says Dark Star right here, which is nearly at the top, that is what I'm using to do my lighting with. 
And when I go to a venue, the first thing I do is I will take my phone out. And what I'll do is, hey, oh, you know, let's say it's a wedding factory and they got four weddings going on. And there's another guy running the same app that I'm running, but he's on channel 11 too. All I have to do is move over two channels. Like I can move to, to number nine, or even in this particular picture, I can go six, seven, eight, I, even five. I'm and and I would be fine. I mean, it looks like a bell, but at the very peak, you can see that that I am, if I you follow this down, I'm on channel 11. There's always going to be a little bit of bleed through. Mm -hmm. And so, Oh, this is on um, the app. This is on the, the bridge, right? When, yes, when I this set it is up on and the you have to do the Wi-Fi channel, that's what that is. That's what that is. What's the name of the and, app you're using, Howie? Um, it's, it's a wife, wife, Wi-Fi analyzer. And um, it this is Android, by the way, uh, Samsung. Um, I'm sure they must is have them. Um, it it sure look, it looks like it. I mean, what's the worst it can? Yep, Wi-Fi analyzer. You have is that an Android? Oh no, phone? Here's, I think no. This is uh, an iPhone. There's another one right there called Wi-Fi analyzer signal. Yeah, there's the I know that there's tons of them out there. Um, this one is like, yeah, I, I you know, I've, I've heard people say things like, well, that's not scientifically accurate to, you know, it's accurate you know, enough. I blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? It's close enough for rock and roll. It tells yeah. me that like, hey, channel 11 is being used. I'd be a fool to set up on channel 11 when there's clearly a bunch of other open channels. Right. And, you know, I mean, we've been what we did Vegas, we did uh, Boston, we did Atlantic city and never had a dropout, you know, how many times um, do you change channel 11? I've only had to change one time because someone else was using channel 11. So okay. I went over to channel nine. But mostly channel 11 is at the higher end of the spectrum and it's rarely used. And ADJ was smart enough to, you know, make that the default Wi Fi. Right. Um, you know, because I Did you and, pay for it. No, the apps, uh, my app was free. Okay. So I'll have to look into know, this. Yeah, it's um, it's worth it because it you know you're there early enough. Let I would I would think that yeah. you know it just avoids headaches down the road. Right. Um, no, totally. You know the all the alternative would be to get yourself one of them cheap thirty forty dollar um, routers and set up your own network. You know, um, at a place. Um, but anyway, that is, that's the one I use the most. So would you like to go for round two? Sure. It, or, or, or we could go to John. Again? <laughs> Didn't we miss John? No, I started. No, oh, John. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, John. You yeah, we, we, one? We, we can do uh, a round two. Shazam was going to be my next go around if we did, but uh, the J oh, yeah. on, uh, I was going to say Shazam too, but th this yeah. is good though. We're like minded thinkers. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have, we have other stuff. Um, I would say one that I probably started using more now as in an app form is Facebook messenger, because a lot of the people that want to communicate, I don't mm -hmm. get them from their, for their phone number right away. They just want to send, you know, ask questions, you know, check availability and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. So for people just reaching out, um not only for the business side but for for gear and products like i just picked up some stuff this uh weekend from facebook uh marketplace and i used the messenger and the guy responded right away 
we met up right away. I picked up some stuff. Um, so use the right way for communication purposes. Um, I, I like messenger is a real fast way. Everyone seems to have, you know, 99% of the people have Facebook in some shape or form. Um, Mm-hmm. And they and they tend to respond quicker to the messenger, even if it's a total stranger. People acknowledge it quicker than uh, it's a mm-hmm. text message. I'll check it later. But that Facebook ding, you know, people pay attention when when that goes off. So I'll, mm-hmm. I'll take I'll take Facebook Messenger. Okay, we're over to Brian. Do you have a second um, a second choice, Grinder? Grinder. All righty. See, Jay's mic is because so you can't hear his laughter. <laughs> I was, <laughs> was a bark laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you all my That's apps, good. man. I, I don't really have any other apps. Mm, I'm not a very app guy. I mean, you know, he's it, young. It, it, he's young. He's not into the technology. Yeah, as, I'm, I'm, as, I'm, as yeah. Most youngins. It's for you seniors. Yeah. Us, us seniors, yes, because we need to be told what to do. You guys yeah, use yeah. Early Bird Special to find the deals on restaurants in your area? That's a great <laughs> one. No, but I, I do I do use an app, like if I'm in a city, um, parking. It'll tell you the nearest open parking spot, which is really cool. How is that? Yeah, but if some random pulls off you know, South Street in the middle of it, how the hell does it know that that's an open parking spot? laser beams yeah they magic they actually yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> no they do have the, um, they do have the apps and um they'll tell you oh well there's one open right here or and it'll tell you okay just go around the block and hopefully somebody didn't get it and they have the same map you do and got it before you but oh, okay you know I mean, it's not perfect, but right. But it's it's, it's better than driving around in circles forever. If you have a gig in the city, oh you know? yeah, yeah. Went through that like two weeks ago. I know exactly that f- horrific. Yeah, thing. yeah. yeah. Uh, Anybody have, else? Yeah, there, there are two that come to mind. John brought one up yesterday, but one um, popped in my head after John and I had a conversation, and it's uh, Gas Buddy especially these days. Oh, yes. That's yes, a good buddy one. is great. Even, but, it, it, you know, I use it around here at home quite a bit, even though I know, you know, what's what places normally have what prices on a regular basis. But occasionally, you know, if you're not in your normal neighborhood and you need gas, it could be helpful to kind of help you find a good gas price. Um, mm-hmm. And then, of course, uh, for those, you know, even if we don't like being told what to do, Waze, of course, like John said uh, yesterday, Waze is quite helpful. Even if you know where you're going, it's helpful to tell you that something is wrong with your normal path. Yeah. And that has helped me get, you know, a- around uh, a backup or avoid, you know, avoid sitting. Yeah. For I a hate long time. those apps. I, I, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw Brian going, because you've been knows. in a car with me when somebody's yeah, had that he, shit on, haven't you? Yeah, I, that was, I get, me. I literally get angry. They turn that shit off. <laughs> hey, Waze, There's Waze got us around an accident in, in, in Pennsylvania. Are we? Don't let me shut up. Don't tell me where to go. Show me where I am. I'll make the decision on where to go. Didn't it? You take us off one exit and put us right back on and we were right back on our way. We didn't lose That's any right. time. I don't use yeah. Waze and I don't use Shazam because I know my music. So, <laughs> okay. Well, there you go, youngster. You don't need anything. Has anyone so, seen he... Brian? Apparently, he got lost the other day. <laughs> and he's stuck listening to ABBA for fourteen straight hours. He's in a psychiatric ward. Yeah, he refuses to turn on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can and see. He it paid seven ninety five a gallon for gas on the way. I, I do. I do not have. <laughs> you know where I am, money. I know what I'm listening to. Shut I do up, not everyone. have ways on my phone. I would not use that kind of GPS where no. it tells you where to go. Uh, where I don't have I a large phone. Coke. I've never used it, but I've never like been in a situation where I wish I had it either. And as soon as that situation hmm. pops up, then I'll put it on my phone. There you but go. Usually I can identify what's being played in public or I can remember enough about it to Google it when I get home. Well, what I like about ways, like let's, well, when I was coming back from like class <laughs> You know, doing, you know, the Olympics there with um, with our good buddy, Eric, 
and there are where it says, okay, get on here, stay on here for 300 miles. It, it doesn't talk, you know, I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, you're getting into cities. That's where it comes in handy to turn here, turn there. And like what happened with John and I were when there was a, when they shut down the, there was a big accident and shut down the freeway. It actually told us to get off an exit. And we went on some side road that ran mm -hmm. parallel and got us on at the next exit. And we look in the rear view mirror and those people are still standing still. So that was yeah. valuable there. What I like though, on that 300 mile stretch of highway coming back from Lake Placid was it would tell you it's the, it's, it's the new CB radio. It tells you where the Smokies are and that, but they go police activity up ahead and sure enough, boom, slow down. And I look mm -hmm. and that little cutout in the, in the side. Yep. He's sitting right there Up behind the like, billboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, I'm, I'm telling you it's, it's interactive and um, I don't know. Uh, no, I know Brian hates just, it. Well, I read maps, man, you know, but maps aren't going to tell you where the cops are or Still drive like an idiot. It's not hard. <laughs> I, I have to interrupt Howie because it seems kind of poignant. No, it's not even, you won't believe what I'm going to say. Um, what you just brought up, because if you didn't see it, you probably didn't or hear about it, but a marketing guy died on, I believe Saturday marketing. Mm -hmm. But you hmm. may know him better as C.W. McCall. No kidding. Yeah, he died Saturday, as in C.W. McCall convoy. Yep. Yeah, that big hit in the mid-70s, like 75, 76, somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah, that which really blew up the whole – I wanted a CB radio then. So I was 11 years old, wanted a CB radio so bad. Mm. So it's interesting you'd mention that whole kind of made me think of that song. Well, 10 4, good buddy. Yep. Got your ears on. <laughs> you got Brian, your doesn't, ears in rubber duck. Brian doesn't have his ears on. <laughs> Nobody needs to tell Brian anything. I'm listening to tunes. <laughs> We're going to time for that. And I know everything I'm listening to. That's right. Hey, what was that Baroque what classic piece? Come on, dude. You don't know that? No, I really don't. Well, I do, but I'm just not going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Brian's, say when we get Brian's Shazam without the big mouth. <laughs> there you go. With the accent, yeah. There's no way I'm lost. I know I'm in Canada, but there's no way I'm lost. No way I'm lost. <laughs> just, yeah, make a left at the next moose. Yeah. This is not the Ventura Highway. I, I do get very lost when I'm out of the country and I'm driving and, and, uh, Especially when someone, because every time I go somewhere, it doesn't matter. People could live like in this area their whole life. They're using some thing that talks to them. And when I go overseas, it's like in five kilometers, I'm like, what the hell is that? I, I have no reference to that. Oh, make, make a U-turn in a hundred meters. Just kill me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going to watch for a place to make a U-turn because I have no point of reference as to what that even is. Well, you paid more attention before. That's why people, you know, you have this disconnect of youth with a phone and people that don't have a phone. I, I mean, look at the fact that how much more you knew about other people because you had to answer a phone in your house. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Brian, it's Blanca. Hey, Brian, who's Blanca? Oh, my girlfriend. Okay, cool. Now nobody answers a phone in the house. Nobody oh. knocks on a door. <laughs> everyone relies on that. Who the hell is that? Yeah, they don't know where they're going or what they're doing. They, I mean, can you imagine leaving the house today and genuinely not having a game plan on where you're going to end up? And I watch people yeah. do it every day. Just go like, yeah, just type this in your phone. It's a thing in uh, West Roxbury. Okay. Do you know where that is? Like the gas buddy thing. I can only imagine the best gas prices are probably not in neighborhoods I really want to be going to. All you have to yeah, know I about said. gas this is all you got to know. Don't buy it from a gas station where there's another gas station across the street from it. You know, or no, that's the one you buy from. They're going to be the cheapest. Don't well, buy from the, the gas prices. station that's by itself. And never buy, buy gas if you see a truck right. in the parking lot. No, don't do that. Gas, it's there's throwing water up crap sediments in the are all coming up. You don't want to well, get anything gas in the any any anything. It's Everything in there is being rumbled around. No, I, mm. I, I was. I mean, my father 
was born during the depression. He was a truck driver in the fifties. I mean, I, I, this, this was just stuff you had to learn because you lived in the house. And if you didn't know it, then you could find somewhere else to go. I have a we grill. I cooked something those. tonight on. <laughs> I always leave the burners on and then turn the tank off. Yep. And when I hear the pop, mm-hmm. then I close you know clear. the burners. And one of my kids was like, why do you do that? Clear my dad showed me this back in like 73 when we got a gas grill. Serious? I'm like, yeah, because otherwise there's gas in the lines. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. still do it to this day. Without It's okay. Thought. They have ways now. They don't need to worry yeah, about it. Yeah, they could get on an app and be like, <laughs> is there gas in this line? <laughs> ways and Shazam, you don't need that anymore. Well, Shazam's better. Just Shazam take your brain least... and put it here and do what you're told. Hey, Shazam is that okay. thing where I can tell if it's a Bill Collins song or a Genesis song. You know what I'm saying, Brian? <laughs> That's an interesting analogy. Okay. Thank you. All right. When when I pick you up from the airport in August, uh, I'll turn off the ways and say, Brian, uh, where do I go? Uh, you know, we've done that enough times. Where we could probably oh, yeah. do I it. think we all know that route. <laughs> you know, yeah, like know like blindfolded. Route. I know we that could, route. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. over the bridge. Once you're on yeah. the parkway, you're done. And yeah. and this time I will go to your parking spa- uh, deck closer. Oh, last okay. time I went into the first one, you go, no, 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 go up to the one that's closer. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh shit. The higher up you go in floors, the, the more spaces there's going to be. The closer you're going to get to the elevator. Yes. Right. Yeah. And that's something I learned on ways. You guys take photos of where your car is when you're in like a big casino parking or anything like that. I've started doing that because I'm like, good, I'm right near 2B. Okay. Because I've walked in parking lots and been like, what the hell? I'm on the third floor and find out you're on the fifth. It's like, oh, Jesus. I actually did that this weekend. I was in a multi level structure and I I went and scoped out where the venue was. And I came back to the elevator to go get my gear. And I'm like, what the hell floor am I on? That's because, why I always yeah. take a picture of the nearest, yeah. you know, yeah, it's yeah. yeah just oh, I guess, and I guess right on the first felt. try, but yeah. Unless you're on the yeah. top floor, then you, you can't go any higher. You kind of know where you no, are. If you I see will. sky I'm above like, you. Okay, okay, 5E. <laughs> oh, click, boom. And it's the first picture that pops up, and I'm like, oh, what floor did, uh, you know, because it's a week later, and you're like, where did I park? Right. Yep. By, by yep. the way, okay. Brian, cover your ears on this one. If you go to your one hand got to hear half of it if you if you go to your maps you park somewhere or you're someplace and you get concerned about getting back there you can do what's called drop a pin and you can actually drop a pin exactly where you're standing then go wherever you want to go then go back to the maps and look to dropped pin and it will give you walking or driving directions back to that spot and a multi-level parking structure it'll do it anywhere It'll do it in a city and a park. It doesn't matter. No, in a multi-level. Oh, I've heard of that. That's no, it will because it senses where it is in relationship to everything Hmm. else. Is that a Waze app? No, it's just in Google Maps. (laughs) Google Maps. But (laughs) by by the way, I don't want to offend anybody, but I saw a great TikTok where the guy, a police officer, came up in a handicapped parking spot, said, "Excuse me, sir, it's a handicapped spot. You don't have a placard." He goes, "It's okay. I use an Android phone." He's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Go ahead." (laughs) (laughs) all righty hey guys thank you all for being here tonight um and hey viewers if you have suggestions leave them in the comments because we do read them and we will see you next week thank you all so much 